Much obliged. We're not alone here, that's for sure. told me that a voice spoke to him. A false god, he said. The same false god that was worshipped by the heretics. But you do not think me a god. Not even a false one. You look upon a statue wrought of gold. But I was not always as you see me. I was once a creature of flesh. The last of my kind. I kept you alive, but how? His people found me, broken and dying in the cave. Molokai knew that my race was sacred to Azunai. When he stumbled upon the last of my kind, he sensed the hand of his god at work. He caught my soul as it fled this world, bound me into an idol of gold, so that my gift, the divine gift of my race, would not be lost. This gift of yours, can you tell me what it is? My race was born from the dying breath of the old creator gods. We were brothers and friends to Azanai, the Twilight God with the golden hair. Our sight was keen. All of time was arrayed before our eyes. We burned bright, but not for long. As each of us died, the sight of the others would grow stronger. I was the last of my kind, so my vision was clearest of all. So you were an oracle. They kept you here and asked you questions? Yes, and I answered as well as I could. By serving the faithful, I thought I was serving Azunai, too. Until Molokai abandoned his faith. He sent his followers to worship me. 
turned his own creation into a false god, and he was the only prophet. Then I answered his questions no more. Why would a high priest turn to heresy? Long life is not always a boon. Molokai remembered a time when Azunai spoke directly to his faithful. But that time was long gone. If Azunai's silence was a test of faith, then Molokai failed his god. The loss left a void in his soul, and he filled that void with a craving for power. I refused to play the role of false god, so he wrote pronouncements of his own and preached them as if they were mine. His power over his flock was absolute. Even in death, that did not change. I came here to find Etienne Dumarnay. Is he... Is he dead? Yes. He lies at my feet, as he has for many years. He was wounded by Molokai and the undead priests. But he dragged himself into this chamber before he died. And he asked a boon of me, for which he traveled so far and risked so much. A boon? Will you tell me what it was? Dumane asked me to do what he could not. To protect his daughter. To keep her safe from those who hunted him. To guard his bloodline until the Legion returned to claim his daughter as their own. Eleanor. She is his daughter, isn't she? Yes. She is a child of the Legion like you. And she is the reason that the Radiant Youth brought you here. You're trapped in this vault. How could you protect her? When I lived, this desert was my home. I soared upon the wind. My voice was like thunder across the sand, and storms would rise in my wake. That power has not deserted me. Not yet. When Jane Cassinder's spies came looking for the girl, I called upon the sand and the wind to destroy them. I saw a caravan buried in the sand. The wagons of the Witchmen. They were agents of your enemy, and they died by my will. If Eleanor came here with her father, then the monks must know who she is. A generation has passed since Eleanor came to the Abbey. The monks of that time swore an oath to keep the secret of her birth. All of them are dead now. Only Simeon remains, and he will never tell. He loves the girl too much. And Eleanor knows, but she fears what will happen to the Abbey if her secret is ever revealed. So she keeps silent, even to you. Eleanor should come back with us. The Legion needs her. I'm not so sure. The monks are the only family she's known. Doesn't seem right to take her away from here. Eleanor stands at the confluence of many faiths. 
Legion and Church are bound together in her. Your words will sway her toward one or the other, and the future of both will turn upon that choice. I see two roads, two futures that lie before the girl. If Eleanor remains at the Abbey, and you are victorious against your enemy, she will rise high in the ranks of the Church. I see her sitting amongst the hierarchs of the Synod, a voice for moderation and calm. That voice will turn the Church from a foe of the Legion into a friend. And if she returns to the Legion with us? She will bear a child. Her bloodline will flourish. Among those who descend from her, I see many loyal men and women of the Legion. A grand master among them. But Eleanor will die before her child reaches his third year. She will save the life of an ally at the cost of her own. I need to know when these things will happen. Can you tell me? After Jane Cassinda falls, if she falls, they are contingent upon your victory and the rebirth of the Legion. As to the hour or the day, that is uncertain. These things are part of another tale that has not yet begun. You see only two possible futures? Are you sure they can't be changed? In matters of prophecy, my sight has always been true. I foresaw your own arrival in this place. And you are here. I am sorry. I do not believe these paths can be altered once the choice has been made. So if Eleanor joins the Legion, whose life is she going to save? The person's face is veiled in shadow. Perhaps because that future is not yet fully formed. But I know it will be another child of the Legion, like your companions and yourself. Thank you for telling me this. I have nothing more to ask of you. As you wish. I have upheld my promise to Eleanor's father. Her fate is in your hands now, whatever you decide. Are you ready to leave, or would you remain in my sanctum a while longer? I'm done here. I have what I came for. Goodbye then, child of the Legion. May fortune smile upon you. You're safe. Did you... Did you find Dumane? I'm sorry, but he's dead. I found his body at the bottom of the vault. I thought so. It was silly of me to hope. Especially after so many years. You're his daughter. Why didn't you tell us? Not to deceive you. I know what Jane Cassinda would do to the Abbey if she ever found out that a daughter of the Legion was here. The monks are all the family I have. I've kept my secret for their sake, not for mine. We need a friend in the church. You can do more good if you stay here. Put in a word for the Legion now and then. That's all we ask. I will speak on your behalf, to the monks and anyone else who will listen. I only ask one favor in return. Tell the people of Ebb that my father's line is dead. 
Even if Jane is defeated, keep the secret of my birth. I don't understand. If Jane is gone, so is the danger. I would change the very soul of the church if I could. There was a time when people mattered more to us than politics or coins. As long as I am Sister Eleanor, the priests and hierarchs might listen to my words. But if they know I have Legion blood, they'll have an excuse to shut me out. My name is only a small sacrifice if it buys me a voice to speak my mind. Thank you for all you've done, and for letting me stay. hand you brought it back tell me you didn't find out how st. Hiram died did you I found part of his journal the last words he wrote here it belongs in the Abbey an account of his martyrdom in his own words has a nice blood these pages are priceless got to reward you for this and you're not allowed to refuse Here. The best I could find in our treasury. And now, to return this hand to its rightful owner. Be careful of the ring, Cornelius. If you try to take it off his finger, you might destroy the hand. You're right. I'll be sure to tell the other monks. And you have my thanks again for the good advice.
Izuna be praised. You're here. You won't believe what's happened. It started just before we... Jane Cassinder is here, in this valley. She thinks she can speak to her mother's gods and call the Archons back to life. Well, whatever she's done, you better look outside. Something terrible is happening. It's like the sky's been set afire. Come with me. I'll show you. Legionnaire! It seems that you've arrived just in time for the end. We're alive, aren't we? Don't be so quick to give up hope. Hope? You think I should have hope? Look! The signs are all around us! Stars are dropping from the heavens and we are all going to die! You see? It is folly to think of hope. Jane Cassinder hasn't won. Not yet. I can still get you to safety in the causeway. The causeway? But I thought only legionnaires were allowed to... Rules change when the sky is falling. That's probably in the bylaws, somewhere. Excellent point. To the causeway, then. wanted to do this, to travel by causeway like the legionnaires of old. I'm happy for you. It would be a shame to get this close only to die under a pile of rock. It's easy to get disoriented in there. Don't wander far from the gate. I'll come and find you when this is all over. Oh dear. Here, take this key. You'll need it to unlock the door downstairs. Until our paths cross again. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later, hey?
that thing is ugly. Jane Cassander is close. She found her way to the tree at the center of the forest, and she's waiting for you there. I came to warn you. She is not alone. She's called the other Archons back to life. I've already seen them. And another creature, too. Not just the Archons and the Devas. Something much worse. It hasn't taken shape. Not yet. So those four armed demons have a name. No one has seen a Deva since the dawn of the world. They serve the creator gods, just as the Archons did. If Archons were couriers and envoys, then Devas were soldiers, the wrathful hand of their gods. Even then they were said to be terrible, but not as monstrous as you see them now. What's happened to the Archons? Why do they look so strange? The power at the heart of this forest has been twisted and ruined. It can only give birth to monsters now. That is Jane's fault, though she doesn't understand what she's done wrong. Jane called something else back to life? Do you know what it is? Nothing I have seen before. But anything is possible here. This forest grew from seed of the first creation. It's alive with the power of the old creator gods. Jane has tapped that power. She has used it wrongly, yes. But it's still the same power that gave birth to the world. Limited only by her mortal mind. But it won't matter. If you strike now, you can still defeat her. Is there anything else you can tell us? If what you say is true, we'll need every advantage we can get. The danger won't come from Jane Cassander. You have nothing to fear from her. The presence that is taking shape, that is the real threat. Destroy it, and the power in this forest will be broken. Jane's Archons and Davis will return to dust. That's all I know for certain, but I'll be with you again, before the end. The whole forest is breaking apart. We don't have much time. 